Hello everyone, today we discuss about clinical thermometer. Clinical thermometer is used to measure body temperature. Types of clinical thermometer, it is of mainly two types which we are using commonly. One that is mercury thermometer and second one that is digital thermometer. Now, what are the parts of thermometer? I will show you the diagram, uh, video. Huh. Thermometer has got bulb. Here, this one, which is also known as mercury reservoir. It is a reservoir of mercury and it is also a narrow tube, this one, with a kinking here. And this narrow tube that is known as capillary, that looks like a thread and it extends to the other end of the thermometer. You can see here, this one, okay. There are markings on the thermometer. On one side, markings are in degree Celsius and on the other side, markings are in degree Fahrenheit. You can see here this. Okay. Now, methods to measure body temperature. For that, keep the thermometer, mainly the bulb part that is in contact with the body. Either you can place it in the mouth or in the armpit or in the rectum. Rectal thermometer has different shape of bulb. When the bulb touches a body, Heat flows from body to the mercury and which is there in the bulb and this mercury expands. As we all know that heat flows till the temperature of the body and the thermometer are same. So you can measure the body temperature by measuring the temperature or the expansion of the mercury. Okay? Now, what are the advantages of using mercury? Uh, one advantage that is mercury is a liquid metal so it can expand easily and second thing it will not stick to the glass so it can be easily expanded and it will not stick you will get the exact reading. Disadvantages of using mercury that is mercury is poisonous if suppose you have placed a thermometer in the mouth of a child or some uh, patient having seizures it may result in breakage of the bulb and the mercury may come in contact with the uh, child's mouth and that is harmful that is poisonous fine now precautions to be taken while using thermometer one that is never hold the thermometer here from the bulb part why because when we are holding the thermometer from the bulb part what happens because of the heat of our body temperature of our body this mercury will expand and you will not get the exact temperature Second, always wash the thermometer before using to prevent the infection. And third, ensure to keep the mercury level below 35 degree. By just shaking the thermometer, you just place this temperature, keep the temperature below 35 degree centigrade. Okay. So this is all about precautions and some aspects of clinical thermometer. Thank you so much. If you like my video, you can like it, you can share it with all your friends and you can subscribe our channel as well as you can get more clinical as well as hematology videos in our app Practicable. Link for the same is given in the description box. Thank you so much.